Hey, Mark Shepard, HonestHypnosis.com, and a hush has fallen over my neighborhood. <laughs> the town just came by to suck up the leaves from the side of the road, and my next door neighbors aren't hammering on their garage at the moment, and my dad's headed back to his house, my sister's headed back to her house, the holidays are over for the moment, but what is this all about? What is this time of year? I call it the season of light. What's it all about? It's really, particularly for those of us who live in, uh, let's say, non-tropical zones, uh, non-equatorial zones where there are seasons, at this time we are entering the darkness. We're entering the dark time of year when animals are going into hibernation, trees have dropped their leaves, uh, in Albany, New York, it's starting to get colder. My wood stove is fired up, and I got I got an order of wood on Friday, and I'm moving the wood, and feeling really good about moving my body, and just being in my body, in this place, in this present moment, right now. <sighs> and it's strange, around this time of year, I tend to start thinking, I have maybe a little more reflective time, I start thinking about What's next? Where do I want to go? What's coming up? What what intentions am I going to set for the coming year? And a lot of people do that like, you know, January 1st, but it's the 1st of December right now. And so I'm going to spend the next month, <laughs> the next 30 days, really kind of fine-tuning my intentions and my goals and my, my big picture vision. And I want to invite you to join me in that. Uh, I'm kind of in the process of creating a goal setting course, which will be a, a little bit shorter and more precision, precise than some of my bigger courses. And, um, and I'm going to play. I'm going to play with setting goals and some of the, the things that I've learned over the years and what works and what doesn't work and how you can really master your mind for a change and guide your mind to just begin to steadily in small, tiny repeatable, sustainable steps bring you what you want, focus you on what you want. I watched a uh, permaculture video today on YouTube and the guy made a point which was really powerful and I wanted to share it with you before I sign off. And that is so many movements about how to change the world, save the world, you know, blah, 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 are all focused on stopping the things we're doing that are harming the earth. And, and that's not to say that's bad. But again, that's focusing on what we don't want, right? And there's a lot of resistance from organizations, corporations, the powers that be that have a vested interest in continuing on our current suicidal trajectory, right? But he contrasted that. Instead of forming a big movement, you know, and going political and, you know, rallying cries and mass rallies and slogans and all that kind of stuff, he suggested that we start small in our own yards uh, by planting, let's say, food instead of lawns, right? And to start small, to, to begin to do things that are duplicatable by other people so that our neighbors may see us growing things in a different way, perhaps, and they'll go, hey, that looks interesting. What are you doing? You know, uh, I'm, I grow Swiss chard and beets almost all year round. I bring them in in the winter and I put them under you know, a window that gets sun, right? And I have greens all winter. Um, a lot of times people go, wow, that's a great idea. I never thought of that, right? And that's the point is that as we begin to transform our minds and our bodies, our minds and our bodies, we cannot help but begin to have an effect on the people around us. People go, well, what drug are you taking, Mark? You're happy all the time. I'm like, well, I'm just mastering my mind. I'm owning my thoughts. I'm stopping thinking like a victim and I'm owning everything that happens in my day and finding a way to use it. Kind of like in music when we improvise, if we make a if we play a note that doesn't sound right, sometimes we'll literally go back to that note and play it and almost create a whole new melody based on the mistake, right? So there are no mistakes. There's no wrong. It's time to really reevaluate who you are. What what are you here for? right what did you come here for did you come here to be a consumer and and 
race out for the Black Friday sales and the Cyber Week sales, Cyber Monday and Black Friday, and you're, we're being manipulated by large, large interests who want to have us give their give us give the, our money to them, right? And there's no soul in it. It's not a path with heart. It's consumerism. It's use it up, throw it away. It's a whole different mindset from the idea of, hey, wow, well, I can work on myself. I can make a small investment of time and money and begin to get great rewards in results. And I can transform the planet in the process in a way that's easy and fun and not strident, not fighting against, but moving towards, right? So that's really today I want to leave you with the thought of practice. And this is a practice, I work on it every day, of stopping thinking about what you don't want and starting thinking about what you do want. Focusing on where you want to go rather than where you don't want to go, right? Because your unconscious mind cannot process a negative. So if you hold an image in your mind of what you don't want, it's literally self-hypnosis telling your unconscious mind to give you that, right? So we have to be careful. It's mental hygiene, right? We have to be careful to focus on we want, on what we want, and to take anything that seems negative and find a way to flip it, to reframe it, and turn it into something that serves us. And so that's it for today. I could go on and on about the subject, and I have in the past, and I will again in the future, but that's what I'm thinking about today, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this up online and then get on with my day. I got a pile of wood to move, and I've got some other errands to do, and I'm just grateful that I have errands to do. Isn't it great to have a life and to to be able to take care of your life and to do the things that need doing. Uh, it's a gift and let's appreciate it, okay? So this is Mark Shepard, honesthypnosis.com and I will see you, my friend, on the inside. If you haven't yet joined the Transformation Nation, get to honesthypnosis.com and you can join there or you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just look up Honest Hypnosis on YouTube and subscribe there. Or you could be my friend on Facebook. You can find me. All right, let's hang out. Let's let's change the world inside and then out, right? Let's do this. I love you. Over and out. Peace and grooviness. Mark Shepard, Honest Hypnosis. Dot com.